I've just finished the Victory Road storyline in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and it had me thinking, how do the champions of Paldea stack up to the unbeatable champion of Galar? How would Gita fare against champion Leon? First, let's take a look at Gita. Gita is known as La Primera and is thought to be the strongest champion in Paldea. However, Gita herself cast doubt on this, saying that champion Nimona did not use her full strength when she passed the champion assessment test. However, Nimona also thinks highly of Gita as well, continuously praising her strength throughout the game. It's hard to objectively say who is the more competent and stronger trainer, however, for the sake of this video, I will rank them as equals. In this video, we will only take a look at Gita against Leon. Gita's team consists of Espathra, Gogoat, Belusa, Avalug, King Gambit, and Glamora. I am using the champion assessment team, as the ace tournament team is about the same just with slightly higher levels. There are some changes you can make in the order of the team to give Gita a stronger chance of winning. First off, using Glamora as the lead to set down toxic spikes with its toxic debris ability would be very beneficial for Gita's success against Leon. Additionally, I would save King Gambit for last to take full advantage of its Supreme Overlord ability. Other than that, it's just reacting and hoping for the best matchup possible. The team we will use for Leon is based on the player choosing the water type starter, Sobble. Leon's team does change based on what starter you choose, but not by much. We would keep his Pokemon in the same order as he has during the game, meaning he would lead off with Aegislash. Since we are in Paldea now, there will be no Dynamax. Instead, we will use Terrastalization. Charizard will be able to Terrastalize into a pure fire type. Now let me lay down the conditions for this matchup. As I mentioned earlier, there is no Dynamax and we are using Paldean rules. I simulated these battles with the teams used in-game for each champion. There are no held items, and the moves used are the ones used by the actual champs in-game. I gave Pokemon the appropriate EV and IV spreads for their movesets as well. If I had included held items in this battle, the results may be much different, so please keep that in mind. I simulated these battles in Pokemon Showdown and reviewed the results of multiple battles. It was not just one battle. I tried to make the most competent decision possible and use the Pokemon in the most advantageous order for each trainer. I did not sandbag one way or the other and I did try to make as many different choices during battles so that I could get a good idea of all the possible outcomes. Now let's get into the actual battles. Leading off, we've got Glamora vs. Aegislash. Glamora does get an Earth Power off as it is faster than Aegislash, but it is not guaranteed to one-hit KO Aegislash in its shield form. Aegislash, on the other hand, can one-hit KO Glamora using Flash Cannon. Glamora's toxic spike setting utility is nullified as Flash Cannon is a special type move and would not trigger toxic debris. With Earth Power having done a significant amount of damage to Aegislash, her best option would be to switch into Espathra. Espathra can outspeed and KO Aegislash with Lumina Crash, and then Leon would send out Dragapult. Now here's where things start to get a little grim for Gita. There's nothing on Gita's team that can outspeed Dragapult, so Espathra should stay in and get KO'd by Dragapult. From here, her best option is Avalug. Avalug can take one flamethrower from Dragapult and then one hit KO it with Avalanche. After this, Leon's best choice would be to throw in Haxorus. Haxorus will outspeed and finish off Avalug with Outrage. And you may be thinking, why Outrage? Why not Iron Tail or Poison Jab? Iron Tail has a 75% accuracy so it could miss and get Haxorus KO'd. And Poison Jab would not do enough damage to KO Avalug, resulting again in Haxorus getting KO'd. So we Outrage and get locked into the Outrage for the next Pokemon. So let's say the next Pokemon out is Go-Goat. It can hit one play rough 
and put Haxorus in KO range for Velusa. Haxorus will knock out Golgoat in two hits with Outrage, and be confused when it faces off with Velusa. Velusa is slower than Haxorus, so it would take at least one Outrage before knocking it out with Ice Fang. From here, Leon has two options. Option 1 ends with a possible loss, and it wouldn't make much sense for Leon, so we'll talk about this option after we decide the battle. Let's go with the safe option, Rillaboom. Rillaboom outspeeds Velusa and knocks it out with drum beating. And now Gita only has her King Gambit. King Gambit will Terrastalize and use Kowtow Cleaver. However, Rillaboom can hit with at least one drum beating and chip away a bit of health from King Gambit before being knocked out. Next, Leon can send out Rhyperior and the game is basically over. Because it has Terrastalize to the Dark type, Rhyperior can knock out King Gambit with one Mega Horn and one Earthquake. And boom, Leon has won without ever even sending out Charizard or using Terrastalization. There was one situation where Gita would win. However, looking back, it would have had to include a decision from Leon that just wouldn't make any sense. If we rewind the battle back to when the last remaining Pokemon on Gita's team were Velusa and King Gambit, and Leon's team had just lost Haxorus. If Leon, for some reason, chose to send out Rhyperior instead of Rillaboom, Velusa could knock it out with one liquidation. From here, Rillaboom would come out next and KO Velusa. Then, King Gambit would KO Rillaboom after terrestrializing and using Kowtow Cleaver. It would then be Leon's Charizard versus Gita's King Gambit with around 80% health on King Gambit. Leon would terrestrialize to Fire type and Fire Blast could miss. If it misses, that's game over and Kowtow Cleave knocks out Charizard. Even if it's hit, it's possible that it doesn't KO King Gambit and Gita still wins. This option, however, felt really forced. It wouldn't make any sense to send out Rhyperior instead of Rillaboom against a weak Velusa. I am confidently saying that under these circumstances, Leon beats Gita 9 times out of 10. I will reiterate, if you were to simulate these battles using held items or different movesets, the results may be very different. Let me know who you expected to win and how the other trainer can successfully win this battle. Did you see me make any mistakes? If so, how could the result of this battle have changed? Additionally, let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see any other matchups simulated between trainers in the Pokemon universe. Thank you again for watching, have a great day, and see you later.